Hey guys, how's it going? So we're down at the church right now. This is where we did the container competition this year. We brought 10 of the True Drop self-watering containers down. You probably see some of them behind me. And Aaron planted up five of them and I planted up five and we wanted to give you a one month update. It's actually been like one month and two days, I think at this point. And they are looking so fantastic. Every single one of them looks beautiful and unique. So I think what we're gonna just do is walk through all 10 containers. We'll take a look at each of the plants and just show you what they look like. So let's just start with these two right here. These are both containers that I planted. And I have to be honest with you, I did not know how the Laguna, this is Laguna Ultraviolet uh, Lobelia right here. And I did not know how well it would do because I typically, when I take care of Lobelia, somehow it always dries up on me. And I have a really hard time rebounding it. But look at it on this side. Look at how gorgeous that is. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> I'm learning that maybe it's user error, but the centerpiece here is a Skyrocket uh, Penicita. And I have noticed with mine at home where I've used them uh, in our 14 containers along the fence line, it really does take a while for them to like start shooting up some growth. And we really haven't had any consistent heat until now. Like it's in the uh, mid nineties and it's supposed to be that way for a while, even getting a little bit hotter. Um, so I'm expecting to see growth out of this very quickly. There's a Super Bells called Great Punch, which I think this is a fantastic Super Bells because it's got such a large flower. And a lot of the Super Bells or Calibrecoas that you see have a little bit smaller of a flower. So it's really striking. And then of course the Super Bina, this is called Sparkling Amethyst and you really can't beat that. I think that this, this was pot number eight when we planted them up, I think, if I remember right. And it had the most votes. Um, so this one won on day one anyway, um, just based on how it looked in the beginning. This one right here is a, a Skyrocket Penicetum as well in the center. Look at, you can barely see it. Supertunia is wanting to take over, but it's in there. And then we've got Supertunia Bordeaux, Supertunia Black Cherry, Supertunia Vista Fuchsia. And when I picked these out, I thought it's kind of an unusual blend of color, but I thought it would be fun to see how they grew together. And it really looks like they're intermingling really nicely, like really nicely. I'm really surprised. Okay, next one is over here. So this is one of Aaron's right here. This is a Orange Blaze Nifofia or Red Hot Poker. So it hasn't set any blooms yet, but this came out of his container from the competition last year. We wintered it over in the greenhouse and it's a really beautiful grassy centerpiece. And then later on, it'll have some really beautiful torch-like orange blooms. And then here is a Flambe Yellow. Isn't that the most interesting flower? I love it. It makes an excellent dried flower wonderful to use in cut arrangements. It doesn't have a super long stem, but I still love to use it in arranging. Super Tunia Really Red and Super Bell's Dreamsicle. If I'm wrong on any of the names, I'll verify. We'll put them on the screen, but I think that's right. It's really beautiful. I'm seeing right here that this looks like it's like maybe growing more this way. We've had a lot of wind and the wind does hit the container from this direction. So that could be the reason why this one's a little bit pushed that way, but I think the colors are beautiful. This is another one of Aaron's, Truffle of Pink Gumfrina. Do you remember how many you put in here? Was it just one? I don't remember. I thought it was just one. If that's right, I mean, that plant has gotten really big. Uh, the Violet Star Supertunia though, I mean, <laughs> it's like, boom. It's really put on a lot of filler growth, like a lot of height as well as spreading out. I mean, that one is really, like I would say, wanting to take over a little bit more than the others. There's also the Supertunia Pink Star here, and then Supertunia Royal Magenta. Really beautiful, pleasing, cool mix of colors. I'm just really interested to see how this one's growing versus like the magenta, you can tell, grows much more flat and it's um, much more open. And this is very, very dense. Really interesting. All right, moving on. This is one of mine. I did a fireworks penicetum in the center here. Oh, hold on, motorcycle. But this one is one of mine. I used a fireworks penicetum in the center, so it's a little bit different like from the purple fountain grass in that the grass has a lot, it does have a lot of green, but it's got pink and burgundy and white. Really beautiful. Superbina Royal Plum Wine. Isn't that so pretty and saturated? It looks gorgeous alongside the Supertunia Bordeaux and like right here, this is like perfection, the three of them. Super Bell's yellow chiffon. And this one looks very even. It looks like everything's kind of growing at the same pace. I mean, that violet star looks like it's wanting to like really outpace the others, but these are really going 
very like happily together. Okay, right behind me. This one has turned out super interesting. I didn't know how I felt about this one in the beginning, uh, mostly because of this one. This is one of Aaron's. This is a super, not a super tunia. This is a purple fountain grass. <laughs> and then we've got the Cardinal Star Sup Super Bells. And you know, usually with the stripey stuff, I'm a little bit more off on stripey stuff, but it really has, it's really like kind of growing on me a little bit. Super Tunia, Black Cherry, and this is a Snow Princess Lobularia. Really beautiful, the fire, or the purple fountain grass. Mercy, I cannot get this one right. This one, you can tell of all of the grasses I've showed you, it's wanting to put on the most growth the fastest. And I've noticed that with the other two, the Skyrocket and the Fireworks, take a little bit longer to put on upward momentum, upward growth. But beautiful like color blocks here. That white really separates the reds, um, but it's really interesting. Okay, and then the last one over here, this is another one of Aaron's. This one's gorgeous. This is called Torchlight Coleus. There are three. I think he did pack this container pretty full. Three torchlights. These are a color blaze coleus, so they can take sun or shade. And they're very, very either the color blaze series of coleus, they'll either not bloom at all or they'll wait to bloom really late in the season. So you're not like a slave to deadheading the coleus, which they can tend to look a little bit messy when they start to bloom. Um, so it's really not a desirable thing on coleus. So it's really beautiful. Then the Supertunia Trailing Rose Veined. Oh, this is a fave of mine. I love it. I used this in our 14 big containers along our fence line. And then Supertunia Sharon, which this one right here is really full. This has got a nice double bloom, really fluffy, really pretty blend of pinks right there. Okay, so the next or the last three containers are over toward the other building. So let's head that direction. So the last three, they actually moved to this location over here by the other building. We planted them all over there by the pat patio and told them you can move them wherever you want. It was just convenient for us to move them all over there. And I think they look really good right here. Now, these both two are both ones that I planted. This one was probably my favorite that day um, after we got done planting. And I think it still might be. Super Tunia Honey right here, Super Bell's Coralina, and Super Bina Peachy Keen. It is such a like muted tropical blend. I think it's so beautiful. And then in the center, there's Wicked Hot Coleus. Now we had a huge storm come through. Was that like that night? Do you remember? It was, yeah. I think it was that night. And it snapped two of the coleus off. I didn't know if it had snapped all three, but it just two of them. And I brought extra ones today. So like, I don't know if you consider this cheating. <laughs> But it wasn't due to the plant's growth, it was due to a storm. So I'm going to replace these two really quickly. And I can still get in here pretty easy. There's a nice hole in here. And then with this consistent heat, I'm expecting some major upward growth on these as well as the grasses. Isn't that so pretty? You know what? I don't think two is necessary. I think I'm just going to go with one. Because if this one, you know, does this and these get really big, I think it's so pretty. This one right here. Play in the blue salvia. There are three of them in here, which they look awesome now. So much different than when we very first planted them. We'll see what they look like later on in the season because they do get quite large, but they're amazing. Super Bells Red, Super Bells Tropical Sunrise, and Super Tunia Honey. I just think these two for me are just like the most fun blend of colors. I mean, I like the purple one and I like a few that Aaron like. I like them all. I like all of them are very unique, but something I don't know about these colors are really fun. Okay, last one is over here. Oh, I get to stand in the shade and for this one, it's really nice. This one gets morning sun. Um, Aaron, there's something going on with this. Look at this. This is a Super Tunia fish, uh, Vista Fuchsia. It looks like it's not doing, it's not doing well. It almost looks like it had aphids maybe but I don't see, yeah, see that right there? Is that an aphid? Yeah, that's an aphid. Okay, so there are Super Tunia Vista Bubblegum, Super Tunia Vista Silverberry, Super Tunia Vista Fuchsia, which this Vista Fuchsia isn't looking that great either. Isn't that weird? That one also looks like I can see remnants of aphids, but I don't really see a lot of living ones. Maybe a few in here. So what I think we're gonna have to do, which I'm just gonna go ahead and do it right now. I'm gonna pop off all of this affected growth right here. And we'll come back with some Rose RX 
and we're gonna spray this whole pot down. I didn't notice this with any of the other containers, but like, and I don't really notice it being an issue on the other two varieties, just the one. Isn't that strange? So I'm gonna leave that one because it's not super bad yet and we'll treat it. This one will flush back with new growth, but it's not worth keeping all of this right there. This won't recuperate, this won't rebound. Um, so just trimming the plant, letting it come back fresh, treating it for aphids, and we should be good to go in another month. When we do another update, I'm hoping that this one has recovered fully. So anyway, what I think we wanna do, that's all 10 containers. We wanna take pictures of all of them. They're gonna be all kind of in full sun. So I'm not sure how the pictures will look, but we'll try to get some good pictures. We'll put a number next to them and I'd love for you guys to vote again. Based on their growth at this point, which one is your favorite? Because that'll be interesting to see if you guys, like if something else rises to the top rather than what did in the beginning. So anyway, that's it for today's video. Just wanted to show you how these things were all doing. I think in tomorrow's video, we would like to take you through the front landscaping that we did last year and maybe even add in a few more uh, heat loving perennials that have some color up there. Um, just so you guys can see everything on this whole property. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to vote on which container you like the best, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.